Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do an array function in Microsoft Excel. I have a list of products in column A where I didn't type anything. I don't care. Unit sold, price sold. I want to know what the total is. To do an array function is going to be equal sum this range times this range. And you got to do control shift enter to put it in an array function. Look up in my formula bar. It puts these braces around them. 737. If I wanted to total up 2 times 4, I could sit here and do that and then auto-fill it down. But then I'd end up with 7 formulas. So I'm going to just make it one formula. Highlight them. Equals that times that range. Control-Shift-Enter. Or the array function doesn't work. So now what's nice about an array function is someone, if we have this on a shared drive, if someone tries to delete something inside the array function, they can't. One more array function. I have a list of last names, first names, and their performance evaluation. And our performance evaluation goes 0 to 5. I'm just making this up. And I want to know how many people are 0 to 1, how many people are 1 to 2. Instead of me sitting here doing count ifs or if statements, just simply highlight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here. I typed it in. Highlight the range. I'm going to use Excel's frequency function. I use this quite a bit. I highlight my range, comma. I highlight my criteria. And you have to do, again, Control, Shift, Enter on the keyboard. So I have three people that are over four. That's what this three means. One, two, three. If I want to test this, I'm going to give everybody a 4.7. So I have 11 scores and they're all over four. Let's do an undo. Go back to the way I had it. And let's test it some more. Somebody has a 0.7. So I have three people that are less than one. One, two, three. So there's your frequency function. Once again, try to delete something inside the array function and you can't. It also keeps your Excel files. The file size will be smaller if you use array functions. So hopefully that will help you get started. Thanks.